DJI M30T is perhaps one of the best industrial drones you can get. And before that, it was the Mattress 300 RTK. However, a closer inspection tells us that both drones share similar features yet are priced very differently. So what's the scoop? Keep watching to find out. There's no doubt that both the M30T and Mattress 300 RTK are the best industrial drones you can get today. Each of these is paired with the latest tech and makes tasks like surveying, mapping, and rescue missions easier. While both drones share the same features, the 300 RTK is more powerful than the M30T, despite it being the latest and greatest. Why is that? To answer that, first we must see why which drone was made. With the 300 RTK, DJI's target was to pack it with all the brains and bronze. It packed a flight time of 55 minutes and a max transmission range of 15 kilometers, improved flight performance, and improved transmission system gave the 300 RTK a class of its own. Besides these, you could configure your payload in three different ways. Record your missions, excellent zoom capabilities, pinpoint abilities, and the list goes on. But, unfortunately, when you stuff a drone with so many capabilities, the best cameras, and the power of AI, it becomes extremely expensive. That was the case with the 300 RTK. It was costly. When you pair the latest Zenmuse H20T camera with it, you need to pay a hefty price of $25,000. Maybe large corporations or national institutions can afford such a drone, but others can only dream of it. As a commercial industrial drone, it will be extremely difficult for a small business to justify the expense. So how did those businesses go on for the two years? Did everyone cop a Mattress 300 RTK or went out of business? The answer is none. Instead of buying 300 RTK, people used Mavic drones to get the job done. Yes, it wasn't convenient, but it was cheap and got the work done. So clearly, there was a need for something less expensive. Since the 300 RTK packed all these features, it became bulky and portability was thrown out the window. So the 300 RTK had two problems. It was way too expensive and too bulky. DJI understood these problems and their answer is the M30T. When developing this drone, the primary target was to fit all the tech from the 300 RTK in a more petite body. Turning our focus to the M30T, the trimming is noticeable. The weight has been brought down to 3.77 kilograms from 6.3 kilograms. Of course, with the trimming of the fat, some of the features had to be trimmed too. It's only natural. You can only fit so much tech in such a robust body. For example, the max flight time is 41 minutes, whereas with the 300 RTK, it was 55 minutes. The max takeoff weight has been brought down to 3.9 kg from 9 kg. But these differences don't matter much. The most significant difference is the camera. With the Mattress 300 RTK, you had to purchase the camera module separately, and that was by no means cheap. But with the M30T, the module comes built with the drone, and the cameras are excellent. For example, the wide camera comes paired with a half-inch sensor capable of recording 4K 30fps. In addition, the zoom camera on this drone is mind-blowing. You're getting a 48-megapixel camera paired with a half-inch CMOS sensor. Also, you're getting 15 to 16 times optical zoom and 200 times hybrid zoom. This means public agents can work without getting too close to hazardous areas. There's also a laser rangefinder assisting you in determining the distance from far. The list of features goes on and on. Of course, DJI wanted to make a drone that every professional could use, whether surveying or on a rescue mission. But DJI did more than that. They built an entire system around the M30T. Before we get into more new things, let's talk about the controller. First, the controller received an upgrade. DJI understood that professionals need to work with their gloves when on the field, and touch panels aren't the biggest fans of gloves. So instead, you're getting joysticks on both sides and an extra six programmable buttons with the revamped controller. This makes it easier for professionals to use it with more precision. Then there is the Flight Hub 2, which helps you create maps, live stream, annotate, and share your screen with the drone's position with team members. Again, this is a significant leap forward for collaborative efforts, and you and your team can work effortlessly without any hiccup. The cherry on top of it all is the DJI Dock. 
This relatively small dock acts as your drone's landing place, fast charger, and much more. It opens up new possibilities for survey missions, mapping, and other geographic and rescue tasks. All that fancy tech is great and all, but when you take the toys away and look at the two drones side by side, you will understand that the M30T takes inspiration from the Mattress 300 RTK and improves on those. Aside from a few limitations, both drones can do the same task, just one heavier than the other. The Mattress 300 RTK is for professionals only, while M30T is for everyone, whether they have already mastered it or just started learning. With the M30T, DJI targets professionals at every level in every industry, hence the relatively affordable price tag and the entire flight suite. Both M30T and the 300 RTK are fantastic and capable drones. M30T takes inspiration and further improves the 300 RTK, giving it a higher ground. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this on your feed.